Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, October 14th, 2021. And like I've said many, many times on this broadcast, feelings are fickle. We cannot go by our feelings. If we do, it will bring us down to despair. Having lived with um, a son who has a disability for the last, well, you know, he's 45, he's been married 47 years, this is uh, something that is reaffirmed in my mind over and over again, feelings are fickle. There's a lot of people that have to contend with taking care of people that are disabled or are handicapped in some way or the other. Or whether it's a mental handicap or a physical handicap, um, it still can be very, very uh, trying at times. And this reaffirms that a person's abilities or their mind is not what determines whether they are a recipient of God's grace or not. <laughs> good friend of mine, Ashley Kenny, up in Australia, is having to deal with a wife who has full-blown Alzheimer's. And now I'm beginning to see just a little bit of what he's had to go through. When people don't understand what they're doing, they can be very destructive. Whatever they do, they tear up or destroy. When you find stuff in the trash that shouldn't be in the trash, when you find things in drains that shouldn't be in drains, when you uh, find people pulling limbs off trees or throwing gravel in the middle of the street or leaving and not telling you they're leaving or you know on and on it goes where it stops I do not know <laughs> Say, well, why are you dumping on us, Larry? Because I want to make a point that there are many, many people. I'm not alone in having to contend with this um, destructive behavior. There are many, many people that have had to deal with it. And my uncle, who was a pastor for years and years, um, Dwayne Canaram, he had Parkinson's disease the last, I think, eight years of his life. And my aunt had to contend with that. My wife worked at one time, and now I know why she worked there in a multiply handicapped school with multiply handicapped children. And it was amazing what what she learned in that school. I've worked with autistic children. Now I know why. Children that rock all day long. That's all they do is just rock all day long. Ever wonder what goes on inside their minds? How they must feel? Totally isolated from society. And then people want to say that you determine your own destiny. Then people say that you can determine your own mental state. You can pick yourself up by your bootstraps. You can do anything you set your mind to do. Well, I can tell you, 
That is the biggest lie on the face of the earth. The only reason someone can become an airline pilot or they can become a um, high-level uh, professor or whatever it is because God has so ordained it. I've met people that they've known the challenges that we've had with my son that brag to me about how they raised their children where they were very independent, blah, 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 blah. Very insensitive people out there thinking they were the reason their children had all the success and so on. Well, let me just say this. If you ever have to live with a handicapped or disabled person You'll eat your words. You will eat your words. We don't understand why God ordained some to be handicapped and disabled. And some are totally in, have no abilities at all to do hardly anything. And while others seem to be able to do anything they set their mind to do. God works all things after the counsel of his own will, not after man's will. And it's him that works in you to will and do of his own good pleasure. That's my only answer to living with a, a person who is disabled. And unless you've lived with someone like that, you cannot relate to someone who has, or the person who is disabled. And so, this morning, be thankful for the abilities God has given you. Be thankful for the things that you can do. Be thankful that you have, you know, I tell Mark all the time, you can see, can't you? You can hear. You can walk. And some of the times you can talk properly. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes your mind's not working properly. But this is a lesson for all of us. Our hope has to rest in God alone, not in our own abilities. Oh, yes, there's times I lose it, believe me. <laughs> when I get up in the middle of the night and never know what I'm going to discover. Have you ever feel like you're living in a house of terror? <laughs> you have a terrorist living with you? Oh, man. But you know what? God can give us the grace to go through each day whatever we have to face. You know, and my experiences have been such that I realized that we just have to take one day at a time. And it's not going to get any better for as we see what's going on right now in this society that we're living in. It's not going to get any better, folks. And so we have to just leave it in God's hand. And He will help us each day to uh, go through whatever we have to go through. May the good Lord be with you this day is my prayer. God bless.